Hi everyone. I welcome you all to this explicit tutorial. Today I'll be walking you through a step-by-step -step process to professionally enhance and edit your picture using three powerful apps that I believe we all know: Remini, Lightroom, and Beauty Plus. By the end of this tutorial, you will know exactly how to make your photo look sharp, vibrant, and polished. So the first thing we have to do is to enhance our picture with Remini app. So we search for Remini and um, now select the picture you want to enhance from your gallery. We can select the picture we want to enhance when we click on this on this icon. We click on it and then you can select the picture we want to enhance. But I want to select a picture from my WhatsApp, so I have to go to my WhatsApp and click on the picture. I'm going to share it to, to my Remini app. After sharing it, we can see this enhance button. Tap enhance and let the app set the picture for you. This might take a few seconds depending on your image size. So you drag this to the extreme end. After the enhancement is complete, tap save to download the enhance photo to your gallery by clicking on this icon. The next thing we have to do is to refine our picture in Lightroom. Tap the plus add photos icon and import the enhanced image from your gallery. Just scroll down. Let's reduce it over. It should be under sensor. So this is it. We add it to our Lightroom. One photo so is fully imported. Then we click on it. So once it's imported, we will begin with some light adjustment. The first thing we have to do is to increase the exposure if the image looks too dark. But I think this is okay. We have to just decrease the exposure because it's looking too too bright. Yes. Click on this edit, click on this light and decrease the exposure. A little bit you decrease the exposure a little bit. After we decrease the exposure, add some contrast to make the color swap. Yes, we add some contrast to make the color swap. Let's make the color swap out. Yeah, this is nice and after that adjust the highlight and shadow for better details in both the bright and dark areas this is the highlight over here we're going to adjust it to our taste think this is fine If the highlights looks too bright, bring them down slightly to retain more details. You can bring them down slightly to retain more details. So we are going to adjust the um, shadows also. Yeah. To give it more details. This is white. It's going to it's going to be bright. You can see it's going to dark. It's going to be dark. You 
this is for black we adjust it to our taste next let's adjust the color slide the temperature to make the image warmer or cooler we can find the temperature over here under this color color slide the temperature to make the image warmer or cooler you can see oh, you can find this Add a little vibrance to enhance the colors, but not to make them too strong. We can add a little vibrance to enhance the color, don't, but don't make it too much. If you make it too much, it doesn't make sense. It's just a little vibrance. Now go to color mix. I have the color mix over here. This is the color mix. We click on it. Then go back again. This is the color mix. You can see this different color over here. Click on it. Adjust the red, blue, green, and other colors to get the right tone. You can just because she's wearing a blue clothes, we can just make an adjustment you can see cut this giving it clothes more details we can uh -huh. for those of you asking how can i change uh, the color of my clothes or you can change it through this yes through you can change it through this if I reduce it you can see the color is giving me you can see the color is giving me if I increase it you can see it's giving a purple color so we can change the color of our flow through this so she's wearing blue let me go back to our old picture and see the color of our clothes. This is the color of our clothes. Please maintain the color of our clothes. Yes. As you can see. Yes. Let's make an adjustment to this. Let's make adjustment to this as exposure a little bit. So this is the clothes she's wearing. And um, we can actually um, increase any color over here, or we can just go to grade. If you want to get more details, more details, you can go to this global luminance. We decrease it. We're going to decrease it. We want to get. You can see our hair is turning dark, it's turning dark somehow. So we can get more details with this, with this uh, global luminance. We can get more details with it. 
Once you are satisfied with your adjustment, tap the share icon and export your image in high quality. Export as. And if you want to add your watermark, this is where you are going to add your watermark. You turn it on, customize. You can put you can put your watermark anywhere. Anywhere just you just have to design your watermark the way you want. Your text design your watermark the way you want. But I'm not going to put watermark in this picture. So you are going to click this mark button. Exports completed. One photo exported successful. So the next thing we have to do we will be using Beauty Plus to refine the portrait. Beauty Plus to refine the portrait. By smoothing the screen and adding a few final adjustments. So once we open our Beauty Plus and um, tap photos, tap on this on this photo, then import the image you just edited in Lightroom. We're going to import the picture we just edited in Lightroom. Just scroll down. You can find Adobe Lightroom here. Just click on it and import the picture in your Beauty Plus and we're going to smooth it. We're going to smooth it. We click on this smooth. I just this smoothness slider all the way to 100 percent. 100 percent. percent. So after the smoothness, you can also uh, blow the background of the image by going to edit. You edit. Let's go. You can see blow here. And adjust this can blow the background. Yes, remove any object in the image by click by okay AI remover. Then you mark out the object you want to remove. You mark it out and instant remover. Click on instant remover. <laughs> this is AI remover. If you want a natural remover, you have to use a classic remover. He gets you have to use a classic remover. But this is AI remover. Yes, it's going to um, find you a better image to insert there. So this is you want to whiten your teeth. Your teeth, then click on portrait. You can see whiten here. You click on it and whiten the teeth. So this is it. So we are done. We are done with it. So after that, you have to save your project. You have to save it. Click on this save. HD image save. Continue to. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching.